What's going on guys, Andrew here, welcome back to On Feet. This is where I check out new and old sneakers, I unbox them, give my first impression. I also give a little bit of the history and backstory behind them, and after that, I show them off on feet. As you saw from the title, I'm gonna be unboxing the Air Jordan 1 OG True Blues. These released Saturday, January 14th, uh, 2023 at uh, 10 a.m. Funny thing about this too is that I was for sure that these were probably gonna sell out and they actually didn't. I couldn't even buy them because I had to get to work. I remember two hours later and they still had my size available. They don't have my size available anymore. I got a 10 and a half. A little fun fact is that this is my first pair of actually Air Jordan 1s, mainly because I'm just not a fan of this shoe. Um, I know that's probably gonna shock everyone, but honestly, this these the colors that they come up with, for some reason, they always do something wrong to where I'm like, you know what, I don't even want the shoe anymore. It's always one thing that they do with the shoe where I'm like, you know what, I don't even want it. This colorway, when I saw this and I saw how they looked on feet, I was like, I gotta cop this because I've really been wanting a blue pair of shoes. But enough of me talking. Let me go ahead and unbox these things. They run 180. There was no tax or anything. It was straight up 180 on the uh, sneakers app. But let's go ahead and check them out. Now, I will say the box is kind of heavy. I didn't know that Jordan 1s were a heavy shoe. But uh, let's do this, man. Make sure to get this one right there, boom. Get this little piece right here. There we go. Uh, I probably should do this backwards, shouldn't I? Yeah. All right, there we go. The box is nice, it's a blue box. Never had, I only had one pair of Jordans and that was when I was in like ninth or 10th grade, guys. Like, I think they were like Jordan 4s and it was some gray and black pair don't have any more they don't fit anymore even if i did have them they wouldn't fit but uh this is the box i really like the box it's nice you know the iphone i can't remember it's either the 13 i think it might be iphone 13 where it was like pacific blue this is what the color of the box honestly reminds me of but i really like the color of it it's nice i thought that was gonna flip open and it doesn't it just pops off all right um like i said let me see anything else on here it shows 1985 Air Jordan right there. And then just to show you all again, I got a 10 and a half. Uh, like I said, I got this off of Sneakers app. I hope this does fit because Jordans usually run big for me. Uh, I've never, like I said, I only had one pair of Jordans, but I remember trying on, like people would let me try on like the 11s. And I always remember them being like fitting really big, but I went with a 10 and a half because this is what I wear now. Um, I didn't want to do a 10 because I didn't want to be too narrow on me. So we're going to see how these fit. Man, these things are pretty clean. They do have no laces um, straight out the box. There is no... Oh, wait. I'm sorry. Yes, they do. They do. They have laces. They did the blue ones too. I might switch them to the white pair because I think they just look a little bit more cleaner. I don't know. I may keep the... I might, I might keep the blue ones. It doesn't... I don't know yet. Let's go ahead and check out a little bit more of the leather because $180... A lot of people weren't feeling these, but I'm not gonna lie. I think this is one of the cleanest pairs that they've honestly released. The colorway and the color blocking that they did on this is really good. Um, it feels nice. I'll say it doesn't feel super premium or anything. It doesn't feel like super premium leather, but it's nice. It's solid. I'll let y'all get a close up. I'll definitely have some B-roll footage in the future. But these are the true blues. Like I said, this is my first pair of uh, Air Jordan 1s. So we're gonna see how they feel on feet in a little bit. <laughs> they definitely smell like the warehouse. Like I said, my biggest thing with Nike and just in general Nike shoes or really Jordan specifically is the quality control behind them. You can tell that they're just shooting these shoes out. I don't, let me actually see when they probably made this shoe. It shows June 8th, 2022. And uh, then it also shows September 23rd, 2022. So these are supposed to release last year more than likely. They just waited till now. And honestly, I'm not mad at it. I'm glad they released them now. I'm glad I was able to finally get a pair of Jordans. The one shoe that I really want from Jordan is definitely the 11. That's one of my favorite design shoes um, from the Jordan lineup. I think I, I also like the fours and some of the fives also look pretty good. But again, that's the bottom of the shoe. Like I said, they're solid looking shoes. I can't wait to see how they look on feet. I definitely have to get these things laced up. I don't know how you lace Jordans, but I lace all my shoes up. That's just how I do it and that's how I've been doing it and I'm not gonna really change that. I know a lot of people like to have a little aglet hanging out the little side here, but we don't do that over here. I'll tie my shoes up. I almost forgot. Let me go ahead and let y'all see the insole because the insole actually feels soft unlike the older like Nikes. I remember older Nikes used to have a really crappy insole in these, but this one is kind of squishy. I'm not gonna lie. It's actually pretty squishy. It's a white insole. It looks nice. It has a little uh, 
kind of like a fake carpet feel to it. All right, so I finally got them on my feet now. It took like 30, 45 minutes to freaking lace these things because they didn't want to just lace them. I get it because a lot of people like lacing their own shoes, these custom crazy ways. I had to look up a YouTube video just to learn how to lace the things right. The way that I did it, it's a really nice way. I can't wait to show you all how they look on feet. Uh, this is the cleanest colorway I've seen of this shoe and I'm probably not gonna buy another Air Jordan 1 for a long time. They actually fit perfectly. I'm so glad that I went with a size 10 and a half because it, I would have just a little bit more room if I had the 11s and honestly I probably could get the 11 in the future. These fit basically perfectly and um, I like that I don't have to basically lace them all the way up or tie them all the way. I can basically just have the aglets hanging uh, from like the the top of the shoe and it looks really cool. So this is also the first pair that I paid with my hard earned money. Um, so 180, like I said, there was no tax or anything. There was free, it was free shipping, although Nike has some pretty slow shipping. Adidas is literally like two days and it's here. As far as the insole, it's okay. It's nothing like Boost Foam or anything really like Adidas Foam. Other than that, do I think you guys should cop them? Yeah, I mean, why not? There's still some available. The sizes are starting to go now. Uh, but the sizes stayed up for a long time on the sneakers app. Like you can still buy like a, I think an eight right now, but I'm definitely excited to see some more Jordans in the future. I hope y'all did enjoy the video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see some more content like this. Remember to hit that bell so you can stay up to date as soon as I release a video. And until next time you guys, peace out.